so this is one of the workflows which we can now be able to use once we want to do some documentations for our workflows let's say you have created your own workflow and then you just need to generate some quick random not random you wanted to generate some documentation for it so one of the ways you can be able to do this you can just be able to integrate your workflows with AI as you can see from this workflow here this workflow has been inspired by one of the templates which we have on in, in, in 10 and this is how you can be able to auto document these these workflows using the chart uh, the form but instead of not using the form what we shall be using is just be having a huge database of our workflows here and then this is what i have been creating to manage my unit we can now be able to check a few fields and all that so one of the things that we need to do for example these are some of the workflows which i have and you can see the titles which we have already generated for these ones for most of these ones you can be able to identify and find the, do the correct do documentation for this one for example this one is missing a few information but you can also see another example like this one uh, you can see the whole detail this one is much more uh, much more detailed compared to what we have on the first one so this is just one example you can be able to use and then to just generate some quick random this one have some few errors uh, but that is basically it. I will be dropping this template on any tent and then you can just be able to use it uh, at your own convenience. Uh, you search for this one, you just need to have an air table and then you can just have the workflow ID, workflow name, status and all this other information as you may want. You can just be able to import this information directly from any tent. And once you have that data in air table, all you just need to do is read that data from air table and then connect that data to an, a an AI agent. For this one I'm using Google Gemini. This one is a free model. So this one is much flexible compared to using <coughs> the, a the open open AI key. Which uh, so now this is how we can try and demonstrate how this one will be working. So what we can do since this one you're just sorting via the last updated cell we can just try and delete this one. We'll just try and delete two items. And this will just yeah uh, that's what we'll sort it out and then we can just add a few filters and then we can say this is just to limit the number of items i think uh, i think we can just try with that one and then see whether we shall be able to get items that we need so once we run this one we'll now be able to see the first items auto populate once this workflow is running so the kind of data that we shall be updating for this one since we are getting around let's say how many items we are getting for this one so this one you are just getting a hundred items and you are just trying to filter them out so 50 items were found and you can see you already ran through the first step so we shall just do yeah here we have so now this is what we have this is one example <coughs> that's book and then you can see this is to test the work workflow functionality and uh, the webhook functionality and then now this is more the description about what it works and the setup and all these other examples we still have another which has already updated so for example for this one you may find in some instances the ai may be not be able to find the data which it needs so for some of these ones it may be skipping this data so don't worry about this one you can just try and rerun this workflow so also we can be able maybe to check let me just show you some of these titles this form trigger this one doesn't have a lot of data let's see what this one says there anyone looking to trigger a workflow when a form is submitted so if maybe you have some form submissions this is what you can be able to do and now this is the description for that workflow you can be able to see you're still updating others this one was a spotify playlist and let's see what this one describes it as this workflow will create a Spotify playlist based on select genres and, the pa and other parameters so you can just be able to get this information uh, quick, much faster so if maybe you want to share this one with you you can just be able to attach this one to your portfolio maybe some other project and say this is how you can be able to set this up and this is how you can be able to run this workflow so let's just see what we have on the workflow itself so this is part of the data which we have on the workflow itself and we can check how the AI is running so for this case we just look this data 
and now this is the output which we have you can format this data according to how you want if maybe you want <laughs> this data to be much better format you can just come and preformat this data from this section here so this is now the raw data and that is it so just duplicate this one run it and then you can just be able to have all your data in your table so you can just either share it much faster or maybe even just generate some documentation for this one then that is it let's see this one yeah sending messages to slack and when a member joins one of the communities so for some of these ones you'll find the ai is hallucinating and maybe instead of maybe providing the actual name of that node it may be providing something like this one or maybe you find the kind of setup that it's advising you to do the kind of setup is not correct one so once when if you generate using this ai just make sure that you go back and check your data and then see whether the workflow that you are running contains the same same data as the one which is written on the ai and that is it thank you